So another top of the table clash in our Division 1 games. Europe Netball Open Challenge 2023 live here at the House of Sport in Cardiff. It is going to be UAE taking on the Isle of Man. Anything could happen in these games. These teams have gone toe to toe in games before and that's exactly what we expect from this game coming up. We've seen both of them, both have impressed in this competition. UAE narrowly missing out against the win against Republic of Ireland just by one goal. The Isle of Man have taken the storming lead against Malta. However, it was toe to toe at the beginning. So anything could happen in this game. Both needing a win to try and secure first place in that division. Make sure you stay with us, all the action coming right up. What are your expectations going into this competition, Fran? Obviously, it's a huge honour and privilege for France to be represented at Netball Europe in our first formal international competition. We're really excited to be here and hopefully put out a really great performance. The team have been working really hard to get to this point and it's just nice for them to finally be able to have that opportunity to represent their country. Absolutely, and I'm guessing there's a mixture of nerves and excitement going into this competition. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure that there is a lot of excitement and, and a few nerves too, but I think we've been really fortunate to build an elite culture from the outset. So hopefully that will help steady some of those nerves and help that environment. So the last time you were on court was as a player. Back here with the Isle of Man for this competition as a defensive technical coach. What experience do you bring to that, to that team then in that position? Experience of understanding what it feels like to be on court and have to cope with all the other things that go on around being on court as well. Is it scarier being a player or a coach? Coach. <laughs> Absolutely. When you're playing, once the whistle's gone, you just crack on, you're in your own little world and it's, it's lovely. <laughs> Much more stressful than sat on the bench. <laughs> a little bit of insight into how you're going to play. Yeah, it's always good to have a bit of inside information, some little golden nuggets that might be able to help our defence when they're on court. But ultimately, we always focus on ourselves and our own game. How excited are you in terms of the squad that you've bought this year, the teams that you're going to face and, and what's your aim coming out of this competition? I am super excited because we've worked really, really long and hard, a lot on fitness and I have a really, really strong team this year. Great team, great spirit, really good team players. I mean, the personalities just go well and it's just going to be awesome. What are your expectations going into this event this week? We've got lots of expectations against for ourselves. We've got various goals in units and targets. Yeah, we're going to bring it. I guess there's a mixture of excitement and nerves going into this competition this week. How have you managed that amongst the group? Been a lot of nerves, but arriving here, coming to the venue today, all helps with getting rid of the nerves or settling them at least. And it's all exciting. Let's channel the nerves. How are you feeling going into this competition, Sarah? I think we're feeling pretty confident. It's a different tournament for us this time round, which will be really interesting. We're up for the game, up for the tournament, and really looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> Gotta start some sort of club. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome back to Live Netball here at the House of Sport in Cardiff. We are live with Isle of Man taking on the UAE. As we've said, some fantastic games so far in this competition. The Isle of Man played yesterday against Malta, going toe for toe in quarter one, 12 all at the end of the first quarter, but managing to come out with the win 57-38 after the 60 minutes. UAE versus Republic of Ireland was on court yesterday after that, and it went goal for goal the whole way through, ebbed and flowed. More roundabouts than Milton Keynes, but Republic of Ireland came out with the win 46-45. Isle of Man then took to court yesterday against the Wales development side. Slightly different Isle of Man team in that game. Wales development side winning 92-31. And now the Isle of Man take on the UAE in this first division game. I'm Natalie Pepperell and I'm joined in commentary by Judy Bahaja, who is um, supporting the Malta side. Yes, hello Natalie and hello everybody and um, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, the mentor coach for Mariella Baldacino, uh, Malta national coach. So I've been privileged to do that for the last couple of years. And Malta have improved immensely and have just put out a really good performance again on court. And we see them again tomorrow. So lots for them to take from that game and build on. Yeah, so they've been, um, you know, looking around 
checking what their options might be. They've brought in some players uh, from Australia, three from Australia, one from Wales, and they also have a Wel uh, Welsh lady as part of their coaching team as well. So they're looking far and wide and they really do want to improve and they are improving. It, you can see that out on court. Absolutely agreed. But back to the game on court for you now, giving you those all-important starting sevens for the Isle of Man. Starting at goal shooter, Alice Cross. She had a sterling game yesterday. Goal attack, Ailish Harris. Wing attack, Ashley Hall. Centre, Rachel Johnston. Wing defence, Lydia Shaw. Goal defence, Matthew Swells. And Zoe Kirkham gets the nod, a goalkeeper. The reserves are Becca Cook, Brian Evans, Cassie Pizzi, Mackenzie Pizzi and Paige Skillicorn. The head coach is Claire Batty. For the UAE, goal shooter Charlie Preston. Goal attack, Sophie Hankin. Wing attack, Jenna Guy gets the nod this time. Centre, Carly Lewis. Wing defence, Alana Farrell Morton. Goal defence, Sophie Sifra. Goalkeeper, Kelly Lloyd. The reserves are Isabel Athley, Nicole Bailey, Alex Gray, Kate Lewis, and Victoria Soul. And the head coach for the UAE is Jeff Jones. Your umpires today are Gillian Leslie, Farina Upperton, and the reserve is Lou Cole. So slightly different starting sevens for both sides here. Do you think that's tactical based on the team that they're playing? Yeah, well, you'd think so. <laughs> um, I imagine this is going to be um, a very, very tight game. Physical, I would think. Um, yeah, just seeing... Uh, the games earlier in the week, yes, definitely, they're, they're out to take no prisoners. Carly Lewis versus Rachel Johnston in that centre is definitely one to watch. A great battle, I'm sure. Early shot for Preston. <laughs> Textbook stuff. <laughs> Three passes, goal. Ailish Harris out for the first phase on one foot. So they're holding them up, making it a little bit difficult for them to get in, but they're disciplined enough to be able to lead, drive, when the time's right. Oh, oh I probably would have taken that shot. <laughs> Bit of a coach killer, that one. You really want in a shooting position against a team yes. like this. Yes, and then to lose the ball. Oh, footwork infringement there. Both of these teams played in the competition last year. However, they did not meet, being in different pools. Oh, how ball. They're struggling. They're really struggling to make those leads. Hall. Alice Cross will shoot this. Yeah, early on in the piece. Few nerves. She's got real confidence, the youngster. Alice Cross on putting that ball up. And that's what you want to see. Lewis finds Guy. Guy made a real impact being brought on yesterday in that win attack position. And not so much a hesitation from her, it was more of a, her decision making which was great, it paid off in the end. Big swing to Johnston. Oh, look in. Johnston waiting for the sweep from Cross. Great shot. Was that a break? Yeah. Yeah. Lewis finds Hankin. Oh, beautiful shot. We were saying yesterday, Sophie Hankin used to play in the Super League over in the UK for Mavericks many moons ago. But um, Lynch did a really good job on her yesterday, keeping her a bit quiet. Oh. Placement slightly Nice off contest. That was a clean, nice clean contest. Lloyd to Sifra. Oh, lovely pressure. And all on one side of the court. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. That's Again, key. another coach is not me. <laughs> Cross. Shoot that up. Yeah, good girl. Oh, 
Oh, break in the other way oh, this time. No, yeah. Lydia Shaw finds Hall. Oh, strong defense. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. I thought there might have been a hell ball then. We're all umpires up here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Just don't give me a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> We're all international umpires up this end. Chance to double up for the Isle of Man here. Swales. Oh, great in, uh, attempt at that first ball pressure. Lewis. Contact there against Shaw. Shaw, a very strong defender. Hankin. Kirkham and Preston have met before at youth level, so she'll know her well. Yes, so I will apologise to all the listeners uh, out there. I don't know any of the players' names, but I'm sure I'll learn them before the end of the game. Beautiful pass from the two goalers there. And Preston, another youngster, just out of under 17 age. Beautiful shooting from her. Such confidence. You, I mean, you, you, you know, they, I'm in awe of those young ones. It's so great to see. And, you know, credit to the people that have developed them and, and helped them get to where they are and to themselves because they've wanted to do it as well. And there's a miss there from Isle of Man. Great pick up for the UAE. Oh, and they could not quite clear that UAE. Nice option from Hall. Both Cross and Harris in the same place, but they play it out. Oh, a rebound, her own shot. Mm. Does it count as a miss if you get your own rebound? Surely not. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. And that's a great take, as close to the circle edge as you could get. Beautiful drive, second phase. Hankin. Oh, oh, beautiful pass straight in off the, off the goal line. UAE take back the lead by one. Harris just needs to be a lot more confident in the ball. Stand nice and tall. Yeah, struggling with their leads a tiny bit. But yeah, nice and tight. Absolutely relentless from the UAE at the moment. Not letting anything get by them and working and making sure that they're protecting that ball. Beautiful vision to the circle. Carly Lewis, well known for her fakes. Not just to sell defenders. Chance to go through ahead here. That was against Not Shaw. Sure Must have been a break, yeah. Great tip. <laughs> Chased it down as well. Couldn't quite get there. Just needs her body on that angle and she will see that and be able to get two hands on. Oh, offside oh, by Guy. Landed in the circle. Guy also plays goal attack, so she obviously felt just like going home. <laughs> oh, that was absolute discipline. Yeah, and the result that they deserve to get for that. So a turnover right back for the Isle of Man. It means this one to level it. Oh. And that seemed like a different team taking that centre pass then to what we saw earlier. Yeah. It's just that vision, isn't it? See the yeah. keeper fly and... And the know. patience. Yeah, and the patience. Farrell Morton to Lewis. Great zone. They're putting on... Back onto one-on-one -on -one now. Yeah, great take. Two 
super shot by Preston. A break back. <whistles> Who wants to keep their centre points? Yeah. Patience. Safe, Safe passes. Making sure they're working for every pass. Oh, but they lose it there, just at the end. Great pickup. Swales finds Johnston. Paul. Oh, that was really well done from the goal attack. Harris will want to offload this. She's going to shoot on one foot. Mm. I'd ask why, though, the goal shooter wouldn't have thought, although she's got it back now. So I won't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forgive her this time. <laughs> Bit of a collision at the top. Oh, an offside, I think. Oh, well. Have the mistakes you don't want to creep in when you yeah, do so much work. Yeah, and th there's things you can control and uh, ball <laughs> handling being one of them. <laughs> Lovely. Lloyd yeah. caught on the fly. That was. Yeah. Time being held. Jenna Guy is going to the bench and it looks like Kate Lewis is coming on. An early change. Are you surprised by that, Judy? Uh, um... I think they just, they really did have to try and find something else to bolster that, that end. It's, it, yeah, it's worth a try. One goal in it though, um, maybe a bit early. Yeah. Oh, Alice Cross has come to play. Love it. Carly Lewis. Kate Lewis draws the contact from Shaw. And I wonder whether that's a bit of a tactical manoeuvre in terms of Kate Lewis is probably likely to get more contact calls from Shaw, who's really on the body as a defender, whereas Jenny Guy is a little bit more robust, and I think the umpires are less likely to call that. Yeah, and it, look, it's just, I suppose, instinctive that you always think it's the... Not always, but generally, that the defender is the one that's causing the, the problem. Back. Oh, lovely that ball. That was great vision. And she gets another another turn at it as a result of a penalty. Oh, but gets her own rebound. And therefore it doesn't count as a mess. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to remember that stat when I get home. <laughs> Natalie said. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful. Zoe Might have questioned the footwork on that, though. <laughs> May have been a half a step too many. <laughs> Kept off the body, runner feet. Ooh, oh, and same the other side. Oh, oh. She might have heard me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good call from Alice Cross. She knew she could get it. Scores the goal. Gives them the result that they want. Two and a half minutes to go. First quarter, and it's goal for goal. Chance for a double up here. Unorthodox pass. Cross, you'd say it was going in. It yeah. is. There it is. Can UAE respond? Lewis making sure this time. And that was a great little tactic. She put the ball down, let the other goal take it, stepped in front of the defender and got the ball closer to the, to the ring. Swales finds Johnston off one foot. And UAE defenders seem to be focused on the post and the goal that's at the post. Perhaps it's an opportunity for them to go one-on-one. -on -one. Especially when it's, it's mainly one of them shooting. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Oh. There's a few errors creeping in now for UAE. Isle of Man keeping their heads. 
great angle on the through court drive yeah. as well from yeah. Shaw. She's dogging in her defense, but also uh, brilliant at bringing the ball through court. Oh, there's a shot and a miss from Olive Man and a great rebound though from UAE. Contact called on Isle of Man and UAE will now work it down their goalkeeper from their goalkeeper. Clara Morton opts to reset. We've got lots of time to take this through. Ooh. Bodies on the line. You think? Oh, it's a direct warning. Well, on... On Natalie Swales at goal defence, yeah. which is really, really unfortunate for the Isle of Man. They've got Skillicorn on the bench who can come on, but it'd be interesting what the coaches do now. If there's any further infringements called, then Swales would be off for two minutes. You can see... What and that's see. quite rare for it to go to a direct warning. Very, very rare. Must have been deemed as dangerous play. I think it's a real shame for Swales, actually. Somehow, all of men have managed to keep possession. A few tips from UAE, but they get a goal with five seconds to go in the first quarter. They take a two-goal lead. Uh, Lewis ran that back and then has to take that into yeah. pass. 14 goals then to the Isle of Man, 12 to the UAE. It's whether that warning will make a difference in the rest of the game. Yeah, well, let's see how the coaches respond. Absolutely. Yeah. So quarter time now. We will let the coaches have their input. We'll be back with you after the break.
Welcome back to live netball here in the House of Sport in Cardiff. So um, offline we were obviously having our debates as to what's going to happen next, but we will let you have a look inside what you can see. A couple of changes for UAE, which is quite early. Alex Craig has come on to centre. Um, Carly Lewis has gone back into that wing defence position. She played that really well yesterday. We see, I do believe, Affley coming on into the goalkeeper position as well. So a few early changes, are you surprised by that, Judy? Um, no, not really. I, I, I do feel for um, uh, Isle of Man's goal defence, though, that um, she's been rested for this quarter. She is. Paige Gillicorn comes on, and I don't think we'll see her join the game again after that. Not after a warning. Game. Yeah, potentially not. And it went straight to a warning. Yeah, we have discussed that, that during the break, so... Yeah, my heart does go out to her. And you can see from the look on her face as she's sitting on that bench and her body language is a little bit dejected. So hopefully she can work her head around that and get back into it and support her team. Absolutely. And I think you've said it well there without saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Judy. <laughs> but a chance for Paige Gillicorn. And Alex Cross on the ball. Ooh. Oh, and a miss. Shot the miss. So this is an opportunity now for UAE, UAE to peg it back. Ooh, oh, just... and that is not going to help. That won't work. Too much on that from Carly Lewis to Kate Lewis. Johnston. Oh, a little bit of a clog up there in that in that mid court. Harris. For the oh, have the shot. At least have the look. That's better. Oh, great pass. <laughs> Come on. It was a great pass, you're right. <laughs> she meant that. <laughs> so that can't count on the stats either. That's can right. It? It was okay. a pass. Just checking. <laughs> oh, lovely signal by Preston. Oh, footwork, yeah. Just off the wrong foot in the first instance. Therefore, it couldn't land. Pass wasn't right in the spot either, so. Great challenge by Lewis. Took that small bit of space between the wing attack and the circle, wasn't sealed. Did what a wing defense is supposed to do. That's good movement. She's not frightened to get out of the circle and, and they're resetting. Ooh. Very lucky. Punty pass for Alice. Yep, nails it. We have a four goal gap now and a chance for the Isle of Man to make it five. Ooh. Let's see what UAE can do with this as they bring it down from the goalkeeper throw in. We've got to create the space. They're at the moment running on top of each other. And Isle of Man putting on an amazing zone. Very disciplined. Great defence. And again, something that they're well known for. They do really well the Isle of Man that middle zone. You just wonder whether they're taking off Lewis from that centre position and now not having Guy in as well. They've lost a little bit of their um, stall walls. Is that right? Well, some of their experience in that middle. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, there have been some um, big changes, some big calls. But it seems to be paying off. Nice from Johnston. Crosses that. Lovely. Yeah, great vision. And it was a great little, great little move as well. Two goalers working very well together. Hankin. Oh, great hands. Great job by Skillicorn. Paul. Killicorn, very involved in this through court Skillicorn, which is fantastic. Now there's no swales. Oh, Alice Cross. Such an accurate ball in. And great to look over at the bench there and see that she's 
she's into it and she's really encouraging her team and making umpire calls. No. <laughs> yeah, she's there. That's great. Good to see. A little bit early on that drive, probably needed to wait a second or two more. And it's that sideline again, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. There's nowhere to move, nowhere to go. Lovely by Kate Lewis. Yeah, that's a great take. Great front hole too. Strong by Preston and a chance yep. here for the UAE to double up. Perhaps close that gap just a bit. Oh, what was that call? Contact. Contact on UAE's goal shooter. Yeah. And a, a bad, contact and a contact. Yeah, back to UAE. Good by Hankin. Lovely sweep. It was a beautiful sweep, yeah. Beautifully timed. And the ball perfectly placed to her. Footwork. Oh, and another footwork infringement. I remember Lisa Alexander would say once you have one footwork infringement, there's normally two or three straight after. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe it's because everyone's looking for it. That's what, I think that's, that, that's what it is. Nice top by Johnston. Oh, great hands. Just a little bit flat on the feet. <laughs> Had to lunge her body out to try and get that, and that makes it very difficult. Kate Lewis, Hankin was that. Oh, that must be close. need to give the first ball that yeah. front ball's on. There's a fair bit of hesitation. Nice to see Preston mix it up between yeah. the hold and the move. Paul, big swing to Harris. Great effort at the rebound, but it went straight into the hands of the UAE defender. Oh, I thought she called footwork. Oh, I wasn't sure, yeah. Oh, that might have been close. <laughs> so quick, though, you can't see. <laughs> Aunt Cole was good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Very good at that. Hankin telling Craig where she wants her to go. Give the ball. Yeah, well done. Lovely. And they've brought it back to two goals there. 20 goals to 18. Hall of Man in the lead. Johnston taking a time over the centre. Just a little chance for her team to reset. Great tactic. Yeah, very experienced player, very smart. Paul. Cross. Lovely shot. Oh, and it's a great hole from UAE's goal shooter. And the pass was placed in there exactly where she wanted it to go. Like a world class centre pass. It certainly was. Paul under all sorts of pressure from Carly Lewis. Oh, a little bit late on that one. Great shot again by the youngster, Alice Cross. And it's back to three goals now. But can UAE hold this centre? Yes, that was absolute textbook perfection. 
They've really nailed these last few yes, sets. Yes, they have. They? Yes, they have. Oh, Patience. she found that space. For the penalty, and she scores it. Oh, this has everything we expected in this game. Nice by Skillicorn, great bullet ball. It's an even quarter so far, still two goals in it. Same as what we what we were when we first started the quarter. So there was four goals in it, but UAE have cut that back to two again. So they've evened out the quarter. Affle needs to be a bit tighter back as a goalkeeper for the UAE. She's just a little bit loose and flat on cross. Yeah, tends to lunge. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it very, very difficult to keep your body upright and, and bounce off your feet and get any possible intercept or rebound. Still a corner to Hall. Harris. Lovely one too. a little bit of communication between those two defenders down there at UAE to, to switch or split circle or you know work together they seem to just be looking for their own goaler and the goalers are taking absolute advantage of that attacking contact in the meantime called against Craig a chance for Isle of Man to really push on oh there's some great space there he just didn't deliver that pass, but the space held by that the Isle of Man goal. Goal shooter was per, close to perfect. Unfortunately missed that one though, but then there's some hands there from Isle of Man. Desperation. It was offside call, so she's got to reset where she's taken it. UAE need to look after this. Three minutes left in this quarter and they definitely don't want to let the Isle of Man going oh. around. She's putting on a great hold, the goal shooter. She's got that space so beautifully between the line and where she's standing, and the ball is being placed majority of the time exactly where she wants it. Yeah, Kirkham needs to get off the body really and start to confuse the space a little bit. Oh, beautiful. And a great draw by Hankin. Time being called, Ailish Harris is going to the bench. Becca Cook comes on at goal attack. Becca Cook definitely had her shooting boots yesterday, so whether that change has been made to be a bit more of a double threat, they lose from a little bit of court craft from Ailish. They gain in shooting prowess, potentially. Just not quite able to find that space in the right time for that ball to come through. I'm still surprised at that change actually between Beckham and Ailish because I know that Harris had missed a few in the first quarter, but actually she was still doing a lot of work and they weren't doubling on her on um, cross. That they had, they did have those defenders absolutely on the run. They were a great combination. The first two. Oh, great take from UAE. Nice. How do you get down the court? Just well, it doesn't us. matter. If you've got the ball, the opposition can't do anything, can they? Except yeah. defend. To you, to me. It's like a little yep, warm-up that's drill. how it goes. And if that's what, not pretty, but if that's what it takes. And they've brought it back to one goal. And it's their centre. So UAE is actually winning this quarter by a goal. With only one minute, just un over one minute to go. Oh, nearly. Keep possession, girls, protect it. Let's see what they can do here. Oh. Yeah, oh, it sinks it. Beautiful goal. Great job by Hankin. 
scores a level under a minute to go. Ooh. Oh, great effort. Johnson. Forcing them away from their goal circle, but they have it in there now. A strong defence. Oh, rebounds. What can they do? UAE, can they score off this? You can almost feel the atmosphere. This is like the final minutes of the game. It right? is absolutely full on. Game on. Oh, oh. hands. Hankin will get the shot. No, she won't. She'll offload it. There we are. Just take that. So they're going to force the centre pass to be taken. Oh. So 27 goals all. We're not really sure what happened there. The scoreboard on your screen is the same as the scoreboard in the venue. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. But 27 all, I would imagine the centre pass won't be taken. Oh, a little bit of input from the coaches and we'll be back in the second half. We sure will. See you then. Bye.
Welcome back to live netball here at the House of Sport in Cardiff. This is the Europe Netball Challenge Competition 2023. You are watching a first division game here between the Isle of Man and UAE. We thought it would be close, and my goodness, has it been close. That answers our question that the ball has gone back to the Isle of Man on that 27-27. We weren't sure what happened at the end of the last quarter, but now all confirmed. We've seen a few changes. Natalie, would you like to talk us through what they are? I mean, I would love to, but <laughs> <laughs> we I'll let you do it. <laughs> so Cassie Pizzi has come on to wing defence. Lydia Shaw goes to the bench. That's the only change for the Isle of Man in this quarter. Obviously, that was after seeing Becca Cook coming on in the last quarter. Oh, oh great hands. For the UAE, Victoria Soul has come on in goal defence. And Sophie Sifra heads to the bench. And we've just seen a deflection from Isle of Man's goalkeeper. And now they're working it down, although they have just lost that for an infringement. I couldn't tell you what it was for, sorry. Footwork. So we're going to see another two now, right? <laughs> <laughs> According to Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great and shot. she is just putting on the exact same hold time and time again. And the UAE is really struggling to beat that. Not many options, however, for the Isle of Man back in that defensive unit. As we saw, Natalie Swales getting that warning early on in the first. Oh, Becky Cook. Yeah. It was a lucky take. There's the second one. <laughs> one to go. <laughs> All down the sideline, but it's worked oh, so far. Oh, they're feeding it down with such confidence. And, oh... Such a shame. Went in, changed its mind, decided that I'm coming back out again. Kirkham. Pizzi. Oh, great hands from the goal shooter. And patience, great decision making. Didn't just turn and think I can shoot this. She took a breath and made the right decision. And there's that hold again. You can see in your screen now the Republic of Ireland watching this game as well. They'll be keen to find out what happens. One of a few misses. Ooh. Nice to open up the court. Yeah. Contact against Carly Lewis there, I think. I know against Alex Craig. Lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing her shooting stats. Yeah. The shooting has been very exciting throughout this game. A little bit of a, a nervous start, but um, soon settled and we've seen some really great shots taken. Struggling to get it forward. Yeah, the pushing them wide. Yeah, pushing them to the side. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't matter how you get it, as long as you get it. <laughs> Volleyball all the way through. That it was, was like actually a was. Set, a set. <laughs> Lewis, great ball through to the circle edge. Oh, oh not so lucky on that one. Put too much in it from yeah. Craig to Preston. And I don't think so much space between her and the line at that at that one didn't hold in the right position. Johnston. Skillicorn. Defence against Lewis here. Oh, great take by Hall. Well weighted by... Yeah, great space there. Oh, not quite to be. Cross's rebound stats as well must be good. Yeah, agree. Yeah. And and she seems to be able to pull them in just about anyway. Lovely. Chance to go three ahead if the Isle of Man can take this on. 
and that for me was just a little bit too easy. Too much space given to the goalers. And there was a change in that defending circle for UAE, wasn't there, at this at three-quarter time. So let's see how they settle. Yeah, Victoria Sol came off, Sophie Sifra came on. Next game up for UAE is Malta tomorrow. Early morning game too tomorrow. It is. It is a nine o'clock game, but potentially, um, sorry, potentially should be a bit easier for the UAE. Whereas the Isle of Man are taking on the Republic of Ireland tomorrow. And repeat of last year's grand final. Yes. Yes. One uh, goal in it. Last year was there? Oh no, no. Yeah, in the grand final, I thought. It's because oh, they played since then. There was one goal in yeah, it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I thought there was quite a gap in it last year. That the Republic of Ireland were um, very dominant in that game. Oh, it was there. But anyway, second option still got there in the end. And a goal, so still three goals in it. But it is UAE's centre. They may go back to back. Uh, trying to force the ball in. And it was a good tip by Zoe Kirk, but I'd like her to catch that one. Yes, two hands. You can get one to it, you can get two to it. This is what the coaches would say. I absolutely agree. <laughs> Contact against Craig. That's a couple she's been pinged for now. Just needs to stay clean. Yeah, and, t and out of play in the centre third for a uh, centre player. It's just very costly. Mm, unlucky there. It takes the player out. Interestingly, it's called time. I think we see Farrell Morton coming on back onto the wing defence position. Carly Lewis going back to the centre position. That could be a result of what we've just talked about. Yeah. So let's see what Farrell Morton can do coming on at wing defence and the impact that Lewis has going back to centre. She's got quite a strong body against her, so it will be interesting to see. A little bit, little bit crowded there. Everyone that can be in the centre third is in there. <laughs> it looks a bit messy. <laughs> but they managed to get it down there. And the goal shooter has possession. She just passed it out, gets the pass back and is looking to score that shot. Well done. Yeah, great turnaround there from the UAE. And I think Carly Lewis brings such work rate into that centre position. When, when it's tough, she will do over and above the work required to get that ball down. She can play tactically, yeah. but she can also grind it out when needs be. <laughs> it's there to three all. Yeah, back, to, back to level. Cross, opting to go back. Contact there on the line. Oh, lovely vision from Hall, finds Cook. It was straight into that. She had the front space and nobody was going to take that from her. There we go with the hold again. She's found her mojo again, the goal shooter for UAE as far as her holds go. UAE take the lead. No, they don't. They draw it. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Far Morton. Oh, a bit of confusion between yeah. Cross and Cook then. It was. Oh, and there's a miss. Not too many of those, which you would expect at this level. Yeah. Footwork infringement. Trying to slide back, but just didn't quite get that grounded foot right. Thank you. 
There's that work rate from Lewis, bodying up. She takes the challenge, she'll do it all day. And she has been. Oh, Hankin. Mm. Lovely shot. Just to double up and take their own two goal lead. Oh, oh <laughs> great dummy. Great look away pass. Step towards where she looked she was going to pass it and then pass it straight to the post. And confidence because that's oh. going to go because there's not much time to change your mind. And, and congrats to the goal shooter who was right onto it. Good on her. Cook. Big swing to Hall. Bit of a physical tussle going on down there in that in that goal circle with the uh, Island Mangolas and the UAE defenders. Nobody is giving an inch. As you would expect. Oh, turnover. Whew. Johnston, great outlet by Cross. Cook. Oh, great hands. Unlucky. Ooh. Came around with the wrong arm. Not quite in the correct starting position. Oh, oh cool. a missed goal from Isle of Man. Giving UAE the opportunity to work it down from that goal line. Let's see what they can do because Isle of Man's zone defence is very strong. Oh, but they've found the space beautifully and there it is. Right at the post. Yeah, great to send that over the mess. And I think that's the difference again from having Carly Lewis in there. You had Sophie Hankin in there creating that space by pulling that unit in. Oh, there's another turnover UAE once again. Working it down the court. Need to show some patience here. Keep possession. Called oh, against okay. Busy. Yeah, okay. Right up on the circle edge. Thank you. No, out of court. Was a great effort. Busy. Find Skillicorn. Cook. Ooh, all brought together. Oh, and there's an error there from Isle of Man. Forced by the pressure from UAE. Time called there. Ashley Hall moving from wing attack to goal attack. On, Sees Rian Evans coming on to wing attack. Mm, this will be interesting to see how this goes. Oh, there's a turnover there. Olive oh, Man got that ball back. A bad pass there from UAE. I mean, Ashley Hall is a very much a creator of magic. So it could be a stroke of genius to throw her in that circle. We know she can shoot as well. Only two goals in it. Just over two minutes to go. Yeah, great job. It's like one turnover and we're back to level. Exactly, yeah. Possessions with UAE at the moment off their centre pass. The hold's on. Not confident to give it, though. Ooh. Evans was close. That would have been an amazing tip had she have got that. I mean, I'm here for it. <laughs> Lewis finds Hankin. Still just patiently moving it round. Ball, yeah, couldn't take a clean grab, dropped it, tried again. This is absolutely crucial for the Isle of Man now to take this through. Let's see the pressure that's applied by UAE. What can they do? They've kept it in their, their goal end for now. Oh, and there's a hell ball. The pressure was absolutely phenomenal from UAE.
Preston. Scores that goal. Just under a minute to go. Both in the same space there for Skillicorn and Evans. And they really are making all of man second guess themselves at the moment. Oh, shot and miss, but a great rebound. Let's see, can they score off this? There's still 30 seconds to go. They should be able to get a score, potentially even have another centre pass. But then Isle of Man will, will be tactical and force the ball to come back through contacts. They need to score off this. They've got to score off this. Six seconds oh, to go. What a Beautiful pass. pass. And they've scored it. And if I'm correct, it will be their centre pass when they come back. Wowza. 36, Isle of Man 39 to UAE. This game is going all the way to the wire. Can you call it now? Definitely would not. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Anything could happen in this game. We will be back with you after the quarter break. Welcome back to Live Netball here at the House of Sport in Cardiff. Oh, this game has had everything so far and yet there is still more to come. Looking around, no changes from UAE from how they finished. No changes either from the Isle of Man on how they finished. Oh, footwork call early on. Straight up, yep. 
and that ball that would have gone a lot sooner. Oh, and they've got it back. What a great intercept from UAE's centre. Almost looked like Isle of Man passed it directly to her, and she just took it. Oh, but they've lost it again. Bit of a bad pass. Oh. And I just fear, we were talking about it afterwards, like, the ball didn't go straight into cross then from Evans, and that's a ball that Ashley Hall would have sent in straight away when she was in that wing attack position. And I wonder whether we're going to lose that with her not being in wing attack. Yeah, that vision and that capacity to maintain that structure. Yeah. Be the general, if you like, in that forward line. Oh, she's happy with the shot. Yeah, though, she's way. managed to score that. Fierce competitor. Absolutely, Absolutely fierce competitor. Oh, oh. Wasn't able to keep her hands on that. Did everything she could to get that rebound. Smallest person in that goal circle, but was desperately trying. Kirkham, right idea to roll the back, but she needs to roll the other way. Yeah. At least make Preston have to turn and change her angle. Oh, over in the pocket there, always a dangerous one if you get there too early. Two players from Isle of Man going for that one, getting it. And now they're working it all the way down court with some... Oh! Ooh. Take a breath. Let's play some easy netball. Good from Hall, just slows it down. Marking out of court, I think. Yes, yes, good shot. Chance to bring it back to within one. Good from Johnston. It's a great drive. It is. I think they tried to set up a long diagonal screen and Johnston played out of it, yeah. realising it wasn't going to work. Back within one. Lewis. And their feeds, the feeds into their shooter is obviously something they must practice time and time and time again because they've really got it wrong. Her hold is strong and then comes the wing defence. She's just taken a beautiful uh, tip and then picked the ball up. And Ken. Construction called against Skillicorn. <laughs> Quick pass between the two goalers closer to the post. I don't know, was it? But <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just more comfortable. For yeah, them, exactly. It? Yeah, exactly. Pushed it out to three. UAE currently on 42. Lewis. Looking to make it four here, at Preston. And another dummy pass. Sees UAE's goal shooter step out, take the ball and and score without any concerns at all. Full of confidence, UAE at the moment. Uh, the men want to make sure they score this. They can't let it blow out any further because it's a big ass to come back. Cross, big goal. I'd be making them shoot right now if I was that defence. Yeah. Stay disciplined. Yeah, let's try and avoid those penalties now. Kate Lewis. Lewis. And the space is at the post, and there it is. She moves into it with perfect timing. Oh, great cover there. Just quite, not quite long enough. Yeah. Oh, with the rebound. I love it. She just offloads it. She's like, go on, Alice. You can take that. <laughs> You're the shooter. I'll create. You stick it through the Yeah. <laughs> and you do, yeah. 
But that's cool com combination. Yeah, knowing each other. UAE keeping this gap. Oh, oh beautiful. Caution for persistent contact for Affley. Yeah, you see Deb Jones on the bench saying to her, just keep going. I don't think she's particularly been... No, it, yeah. It's hard, well, I suppose you're not down there, you don't know. And you, you train your players to, you know, fight, contest for that ball. It's just the interpretation, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, she has to keep competing. Exactly. Oh, Morton. She has had a, an impact, though, the wing defence when she's since she's come on. Yeah, agreed. She really has done the, the role beautifully, played the role beautifully. Lovely option. Lovely pass. They just need that turnover. It'll be a question of composure. From UAE at well, both teams really, but there's that turnover you're saying that they needed. What can they do with it? Johnston. Oh, that's oh, a confident ball. Beautiful pass. And she rewards them. A game of patience now. They're not trying to force the ball in. Oh, great oh, shot. Confident shooting. It's like the battle of the goal shooters. Here. It is. It actually, it actually is. Ooh, shot. The gap stays at two. But Isle of Man have pegged it back. Pegged it back by one. Their centre. Oh, dancing with the three seconds. They were. How did Johnston keep that in? Back to one. Oh, my goodness. Judy, what a cracker. It certainly is. Both teams have come to play and to prove a point. There's no question about that. Kate Lewis finds Hankin. Very few errors. It, it is really a game of, of tactics and, and the discipline from both teams, patience from both teams. There's very few errors, and it's a, an amazing game to watch. But, as we say that, at a crucial time. Oh, it's been touched. Oh, no, it's contact. Everybody breathe, including me. <laughs> Oh, time called. Big call. Kelly Loy coming on a goalkeeper. Change? Yeah. And Athley going to the bench. Tactical injury, just tactical, you think? Tactical. tactical. She's tactical. literally just sat yeah. there. Yeah, okay. What will this one bring to the game, Natalie? I think she's, you know, a bit more height. Kelly Loy is very experienced in her play, so maybe a bit more smarts in terms of okay. not causing not causing contact or getting uh -huh. pinged. Okay. And then being there for the rebounds is my guess. The scores are level. And Isle of Man is having a shot. And they've scored it. So they've fought back from three goals down at the start of this quarter. Goodness, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> so, no, Kate Lewis. Contact against Kirkham here. It's the umpire's seen it off the ball. Goal for goal. Wow, this is going to be a crucial five minutes. Whoa, it's like, is it three seconds? <laughs> I thought it might have been, but no, it's a. Contact. Lovely ball over to Hall. It's a long swing. Yeah, she found that space so nicely. Oh, missed the goal, but she rebounds her own shot. 
I love that. I love that from Cross. So to Lewis. Great defence. Look at the pressure from Isle of Man. But somehow UAE's managed to get the ball into the circle. Thank you. And she scores. Oh, limited, limited contest and defence on that centre pass then. That was a little bit easy. Contact against Seoul. played ball but but UAE got their hands to it not quite cleanly it doesn't matter though they have it oh. mm. Mm. very Come. lucky that the contact was called oh shoots the goal under absolute pressure four minutes left one goal in it this to double up for UAE. Russia as well. And oh, oh footwork. footwork is called. Oh, again. Was it going to be the three? No, it's the contact. Yeah, up further. Keep yourselves in the game, ladies. It's your own player. Oh, that's a great attempt at that from, from UAE's goal defence. There's a strong double being put on cross here, and that's smart by the defence. Oh. <laughs> cross isn't even checking if Johnston's <laughs> all right. She's like, we're playing on. So good job she can catch. So great movement on and off the circle there for Isle of Man. They're not just finding the circle edge and then staying there, they're moving on and off, but it just didn't come off for them at that point. And if you look down at the goal shooter at uh, UAE's end, she's already preparing, holding that goal, that goalkeeper up high, getting her space ready, even though the ball's nowhere near her at the moment, she's, she's ready to go. This is where we've seen the work rate of Carly Lewis will increase tenfold. Contact against the wing attack. Oh, oh great effort from their wing defence. That was a gift. <laughs> that's why they're putting the double on, because it's Cross that's doing the shooting. Oh, no. Let's see what they can do with it now, bringing it back down from their, their defence end. Oh, I thought there was actually a little step on them. Oh, they're confused. Oh, that great pick up. That yeah, footwork from that. Oh, my goodness yeah. me. Cross. Don't think I could have picked a better game than call than this one. <laughs> oh, I know. Marking off court. Penalty pass or shot. Oh, only a minute and a half to Ooh. go. She scores the goal. And it's their centre pass. Needs to be strong but clean defence here from UAE. No Rachel penalties. Johnson down. Yeah. Alice Cross is just saying to her, come on, keep playing. Oh, they needed that. Need to protect this. Under a minute to go. Give the smart. Obstruction against Skillicorn. That's crucial. Yeah, this there's two, two in one. now. Two and one. Yeah, two and one. And Carly Lewis is and always And she knows go exactly out. how to do it. <laughs> wow, the nerves must be crazy out there at the moment. Oh, and they're up by one, and it's their centre pass. Only under 30 seconds. What Holy can Lewis. they do? Are they going to manage to keep it? They have to keep possession, but they have to be smart. They will play keep ball on this. We've yeah, seen this from definitely. the UAE before. Yeah. They've got to be smart. 
she knows how to work. Ten seconds left. Are they going to try and work it into their goals? Yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. they'll take this game. There it is. Oh, Time quite. held, no. six seconds. Yeah. We've got a feel for the Isle of Man. They were in it all the way. Well, they had a great comeback in this quarter. Oh, goodness me. Three goals down, came back to Shall even. but it wasn't enough. What a game, Judy, what a game. It certainly was, and I thank you very much for the opportunity to have the best seat in the house. Thank Boy, you. Tell you what, something about working with Malta. Vicky was on the one yesterday that was close to the Republic of Ireland UAE. You're on this one. I think we're just going to have to have you back more often. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> Do not go anywhere. We're going to grab those all-important coach interviews. Commiserations to Isle of Man, but congratulations to UAE. Fantastic, really blows the competition open for tomorrow's game. What are your expectations going into this competition, Fran? Obviously it's a huge honour and privilege for France to be represented at Netball Europe in our first formal international competition. We're really excited to be here and hopefully put out a really great performance. The team have been working really hard to get to this point and it's just nice for them to finally be able to have that opportunity to represent their country. Absolutely and I'm guessing there's a mixture of nerves and excitement going into this competition, is that right? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure there is a lot of excitement and, and a few nerves too, but I think we've been really fortunate to build an elite culture from the outset. So hopefully that will help steady some of those nerves and help that environment. So the last time you were on court was as a player, back here with the Isle of Man for this competition as a defensive technical coach. What experience do you bring to that, to that team then in that position? Experience of understanding what it feels like to be on court and have to cope with all the other things that go on around being on court as well. Is it scarier being a player or a coach? Coach. <laughs> Absolutely. When you're playing, once the whistle's gone, you just crack on, you're in your own little world and it's, it's lovely. <laughs> Much more stressful down, sat on the bench. <laughs> a little bit of insight into how you're going to play? Yeah, it's always good to have a bit of inside information, some little golden nuggets that might be able to help our defence when they're on court, but ultimately we always focus on ourselves and our own game. How excited are you in terms of the squad that you've bought this year, the teams that you're going to face and, and what's your aim coming out of this competition? I am super excited because we've worked really, really long and hard, a lot on fitness and I have a really, really strong team this year. Great team, great spirit, really good team players. I mean, the personalities just go well and it's just going to be awesome. What are your expectations going into this event this week? We've got lots of expectations against for ourselves. We've got various goals in units and targets. Yeah, we're going to bring it. I guess there's a mixture of excitement and nerves going into this competition this week. How have you managed that amongst the group? Been a lot of nerves, but arriving here, coming to the venue today, all helps with getting rid of the nerves or settling them at least. And it's all exciting. Let's channel the nerves. How are you feeling going into this competition, Sarah? I think we're feeling pretty confident. It's a different tournament for us this time round, which will be really interesting. We're up for the game, up for the tournament, really looking forward to it. So I'm here with Deb Jones, managed to grab her away from her team. Oh my goodness, have you got any nails left? I just don't think I've got time to take a breath. My God, they can't do, they can't keep doing that to us. That's two games on the bounce where it's been to the wire. You know, for us today, it was great that it went our way. But to be honest, within the last couple of minutes, that game could have gone either way. There was some great play, but similarly, and from both teams as well, you know, a high error rate, too high when it's neck and neck like that. Yeah, I must say, in the last few minutes, when you got a couple of turnovers and they couldn't bring it through, what was going through your head at that point in time? It's really like interesting because we'd said, stick to our game plan. We've talked about, you know, pushing through the zone and, and what strategies, and I'm not going to share them, obviously, <laughs> but what we would be able to do to do that. And it's like they lose their heads under pressure. So we need to regroup, regather, watch that footage again, and then, you know, analyse exactly what they should, should have been doing at various points. But, you know, like I said, my heart rate is still going like 10 to the dozen, so I can't even think straight at the minute. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, and you alluded to, we didn't manage to catch up with you after yesterday but a one-goal loss to the Republic of Ireland again down to the wire. I mean, 
you've obviously changed that around, but like you say, both of those could have gone either way. Um, how do you push forwards now? Because you've got Malta tomorrow, so that's a nicer one for you, essentially. But um, how do you push on? Because these finals, you're going to hit one of these teams again. Yeah, and, you know, we will look at all of that analysis. And for us, what was really nice about today's game is it was a bit like a game of cat and mouse. You know, what are they going to do? What have we got on our bench that we can, you know, change and add variety? And we made less changes yesterday. We made more changes today just to see how various combinations work. And we will probably get an opportunity again tomorrow in the multi game that you referred to to be able to try some more of those combinations. But, you know, every every game, and we must never under estimate any, our, 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 any of our opponents and it's all leading for us up to that final game on that final day where we hope to be in the final so yeah bring on Malta tomorrow well all to play for fantastic it's a great game for spectators um, but I'm sure you definitely need your rest now so recover well yeah absolutely and I'm not going to share with you what, re what that rest will look like but yeah and thanks to the Island Man and, and to Ireland for testing our team because you know that really helps absolutely well done Deb thank you <laughs> Uh, looking around, I'm going to see if I can get, I'm getting Kat, I think, Kat Keelan, defensive coach for the Isle of Man. She's coming over. Oh, keep that smile on your face, Kat. Oh, my goodness. I mean, what tough game, hey? commiserations, but what a game to be in. Yeah, absolutely amazing game. Such a contested game. Um, everyone fought really hard. Fantastic. And we were a bit disappointed in the first quarter. Swales getting an early warning, obviously uncontroversially. Um, your thoughts on that? Did it impact the rest of the game for you guys? We've got depth and breadth on our bench, so we're not, we're not worried about that. It's something to look at later. There's some really great play. And like I say, we were talking a lot as well about Alice Cross. Yeah. My goodness me, didn't she play well? Yeah, she, she implemented everything. We've been, we've been working hard on, as did all the, all the girls. So UAE lost out to um, Republic of Ireland yesterday by one. Obviously, you guys have played Malta, lost out here by two, but Republic of Ireland is definitely for the taking, is it not? Yeah, we might see, uh, see us again against UAE or Republic of Ireland. We'll see how it all goes. <laughs> well, really well done. I mean, like I say, it could have been any game. Deb Jones just said as well, it could have been anyone's game at the end. It's just lucky that it fell in their direction. So rest up well and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Kat. So really well done for both teams. An absolutely phenomenal game of netball. I don't know if you've recovered. I'm not sure I'm going to have recovered for a bit yet. But there's more netball to come. We see Gibraltar taking on France. Both of these teams have won so far in their competitions, both games they've played. So who's going to win this one? This is ultimately to see who goes through in this division in first place. Stay tuned for more.